Hi everyone, today's video is all about Atelier Cologne. I'm gonna talk about the three perfumes from the brand that I have. This is a L'Oreal owned brand of perfume that apparently is leaving North America. Their perfumes have been on sale at Sephora since November. So this isn't news. A lot of stuff is sold out online already there if you've ever shopped on their website they've sent out coupons for 40 percent off but the last time i checked nordstrom everything was still full priced for whatever reason so look around some places things are discounted and some places they're not i've actually seen them on discounter site sites already so if you're looking for gray market perfume you can probably find it there now i actually remember when this brand launched because they opened up a little boutique at yorkdale mall which is a mall in toronto and it was kind of in a more bougie area so they were i guess trying to attract that kind of customer what i thought was interesting about the brand at that time was that they seemed to focus a lot on more fruity notes i don't know if they were trying to position themselves as being more natural i think in the past they did have you know um a percentage of natural ingredients listed on their boxes so clearly they were trying to attract that kind of customer but um i mean that doesn't really matter to me i really just care about what smells good so i have three perfumes from the brand uh now perfume has blown up so much that you can get fruit forward vegetal perfumes pretty much anywhere but at that time i think it was a little bit more difficult to find something that was kind of in that vein and that's something that they did really well so I'll go through the three that I have I have Love Osmanthus, Pacific Lime and then I have I think this is Musk Imperial uh, I'll start with Love Osmanthus this is actually my least favorite that I have from the brand Osmanthus is a floral note that kind of has peachy qualities to it. I haven't smelled it in real life, but I just know that from smelling raw materials and other perfumes that have the osmanthus note in it. Like I said, um, Atelier Cologne really does fruity notes well, and this opens with such a fresh, ripe orange that is really, really pleasant and pleasing and juicy. And once that's gone, you get more of the osmanthus. Now, the notes list on this says that the dry down has cedar, but I smell a lot of isoe, which is a you know base note kind of ingredient it's in super cedar it's in molecule number one so if you've smelled those you kind of know what to expect it has a very dry quality it's also one of those notes that you can become nose blind to or anosmic to so you get used to the smell after a while but people around you haven't been smelling it for the whole day so to them you might smell really strong but to yourself you might not be able to smell that note at all so that's something that's interesting about it and people love and hate that because I think a lot of people that wear perfume want to be able to smell the perfume on themselves but with that ingredient you really can't and this has a lot of it as a base note so great perfume I like the I love the top and the heart I just think they're really really pretty and well done but um ISO E, too much of it is maybe not a good thing, I would say. Okay, the next one I have is Pacific Lime. This is exactly what you would think if you were thinking of a lime perfume. It is very lime forward, I would say, and that's definitely a good thing. Uh, the lime is really fresh, juicy. It even has that bitterness that limes, real limes have, and I think that it's done so well in this perfume. Um, citrus notes often don't last very long, but this has a really good amount of lasting power. It has projection. It has good sillage. And then after that lime is gone, you're left with a coconut that's creamy and fatty and very realistic instead of being more of a coconut coconut candy or an artificial coconut note. So I really enjoy this for that. This really is a beautiful 
beachy scent, I would say. It's uplifting, it's happy, uh, it makes you think of vacations, makes you think of a nice, you know, um, fresh drink on a beach somewhere, which is great. I like wearing this all year round because I find that in the winter it is uplifting and it reminds me of warm places and in the summer it's just refreshing. So love this one. I think it's really, really easy to wear and probably overlooked, but really nice coconut note if that's something that you like in a fragrance. Okay, the last one is my favorite, I would say. This is Musk Imperial. This was created in um, collaboration with a hotel in Barcelona. So I think they um, provided fragrance for the hotel lobby or whatever. And then they also came out with a perfume version of that that you could purchase. It was limited edition. I was not able to find this on the Atelier Cologne website or on Sephora's website. This silver label is an indication of a limited edition special release. And so they had a few perfumes that had this kind of label. Um, if you can find this on a forum or on eBay or something like that, or if you can sample it, even decant it, maybe I really suggest it. This is a beautiful, strong, masculine, white musk perfume. It is really a pleasure to wear, and it just makes me think of someone that's a little bit buttoned up and organized and very businesslike. And I mean those things in a really, really good way. I think there's something attractive about people that are organized. <laughs> I, I like that for myself. And so every time I wear this, you know, I just think of like office meetings and business attire and just like very power mode kind of person day perfume, I would say. So I like that. I think it's a good quality, not all the time, but definitely some of the time. And so that's what Musk Imperial kind of smells like. And it's really, really beautiful perfume, very strong, very um, powerful, I would say, but it is a clean musk. It is a white musk, just a little bit more masculine, but beautiful for anybody. I wear this also. I enjoy it quite a bit. So those are the three that I have. I should mention that if you go on the Atelier Cologne website, they have a little section that's just for their discontinued perfumes. So you can click on that and see if they have some of their older stock that's still available. This was not on there at the time, but you never know. They might be changing things up. I have also seen on Instagram that people in Europe are posting um, their bottles of Atelier Cologne and they're definitely more ornate. Like they've got, got like, you know, metallic plating on it that's kind of raised and they've got different notes and a little bit, they seem to be trying to attract a little bit more of a niche customer or that type of person that wants something that's really special. And so maybe they are going to come back to North America with more of a rebrand and launch some new scents here so i feel like if these fruity ones were more your style and you really really enjoy them probably a good idea to pick them up while you still can because you probably won't see them again but that being said it seems like there's going to be a lot of other new interesting stuff and probably more expensive stuff too so let's see anyways thanks for watching and i will see you next time